Hello everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels adventure and today we're on a mod map called Moss Valley so this is one of the last few maps I've got left to do that uh, was released while I was on holiday so this was actually released on the 4th of the 4th 2024 it is only PC and Mac compatible which is a massive shame because it's a really really nice British map I must admit it's on a version 1.0.0.0 it's 548.29 megabytes to download and it's been put together by a map maker called VR Modding. Now I think VR Modding has done some other mods in the past as well, a few sheds and a few other bits and bobs. But there's quite a lot of information on ModHub about this. There is no mods needed though, so that's really nice. So that's really why the file size is a little bit larger. So it says welcome to Moss Valley. With this DEM map you will be able to tackle the challenges of running a farm in the heart of Sheffield. With accurate farms and fields you will be able to really get immersed in the experience. Almost like you are really running it. There are multiple businesses that can take all your products from grains to wood and everything in between. With built in productions like dairy and bakeries you are going to be able to just not just sell the bulk crops but also process them and profit even more. So that's pretty good. Demand on the forest is low so you can get them at a fair price and sell the wood at the local sawmill. They are all, there are not only cows, sheep, chickens and pigs, you can also buy a small family run horse farm located on the northwest end of the map. You might also run into some hand tools, they are not just decorative, if you find all of them you will get a really nice reward for them. Ooh, bit of a challenge for people. If you want to expand your farms with productions and don't want to waste expensive fields, you can buy a placeable area either near the bakery and BGA or the other side of the map near the Carthill Grain Elevator. I hope you enjoy this map. So yeah, uh, very nice indeed. There's a few list of features that we'll quickly run through as well. So it says there's lots of new accurate to real life models made for this map. 82 fields, small, medium and large, 10 custom made collectibles, there's the hand tools, 4 farms all across the map to fit every playstyle, buildings with lights and animated doors, huge forest to take on, custom tree, foliage and ground textures, that's pretty good, these hedges only have collisions for bales, the custom precision farming soil map, multi-terrain angles, that'll be the reason why it's not on console, mud system support, Manure system support, built in BGA and other production points, multiple sell points, these are UK license plates, two placeable areas, so that's to put down your own productions, seasonal visuals, that's going to be good, custom vehicle shop UI, seasonal head textures, that would be quite good if they did that, custom lighting and the UK growth calendar. Contributors are mentioned in the moddesk.xml file, so pretty nice indeed. So even though I really am enjoying running around this map um, to see all this lovely area up in Sheffield, I'm going to get my feet firmly back down on the ground and have a quick look at our starting fields and our starting equipment. Now I've got to say the starting equipment is very, very, I'd say um, real to life for a British farm. So you've got a very nice T6155 New Holland tractor. You've then got a Mass Ferguson MF7716S tractor, a New Holland Harvester, a JCB Telehandler, a Brantner Power Push Trailer, the header for the Harvester, an Agramash Plow, Rab Cultivator, a Big Pottinger Seeder, very nice, Amazoni Fertilizer Spreader, two mowers front and back, Tedder, a Windrower, a Baler, which I think will wrap as well, it will, yeah. And then you've got Telehandler Tools, three of those got a bucket, a fork, and a bale fork. And you got the header trailer so pretty standard setup for a british farm in my opinion no leased items and no map specific or mod specific items or mods so pretty good so farmyard wise very big and um, quite tight but big as in quite well quite large in the layout so over here i think is your home trigger house trigger it looks like a custom made house as well so that's pretty good looks very nicely done as well so down here, so over the road is your farm. So you have got like a um, farm office building there. Again, very nicely done. Uh, Dutch shed there with your two tractors in. And you've got a bit more equipment there for your open shed. You've got a silo here. Yeah. And one thing I will say though, there's lots of areas. They've just got like um, bits of uh, debris and decorative items to give the farm a bit of character. 
which I think is absolutely brilliant because, to be honest with you, I think a lot of mappers do miss that on British farms. I mean, someone who has worked on a farm, farms are not tidy, they're not perfect. These rubble in places, these skips, these old tyres, these old implements, there's loads of old stuff lying around. So, yeah, really, really nice to see. Got another silo there, got some of the farms. Um, pigs, I think that is. Oh, no, it's chicken coop there. And we've got um, some more. I think these are sheep or pigs. No, pig pastures. Yeah, three pig pastures. And then over here you've got where you can store your combine. I think that shed's actually been made by Vertex Design originally anyway. So if we come around here, we'll see. Look at the view over there though. The lovely Yorkshire um, scenery. Absolutely fantastic. Now down here then we've got our fill point for manure. Then we've got an open shed this side. And we've got our cow barn, I believe. I would say, yep, that's a cow barn. That's where we came from up there. So again, really big area around. Nice. Very tight, though, um, to get all this equipment in and out. But that's a good idea. You've got a twin level shed there. That's a really nice idea, I must admit. So then up here, we've then got a track then that goes to the road and also another entrance into the farm. Lots of other farm buildings here. I think, again, been done by... Um, the modder, then we've got now open, yeah. So, if I straight through the building, they've got a JCB telehandler there. And again, you see, look at that some nice old tire tracks, oil barrels, boxes, etc. Yeah, just wheelbarrow, it's not massively useful, but it just gives a bit of character, I think. Really does, and that's what I, in my opinion, that's what makes a really good map. Got some solar panels on the roof there, which is something that we are doing massively in the UK with British farmers. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. This is a Povy Farm, I think. Povy Farm. Very nice indeed, I must admit. So, if we look at our map uh, PDA when it comes to what we own. So, 86 is where our main farm is, as you can see. Quite a big area, but you can see there. Pretty nice. But you also own quite a lot of the outside of the map. I don't know if that's forest land or is that just the way that the map has done it, but you also own uh, 38, 39, and also I think that's about it, is it? Oh, uh, 33 and 34. Yep, definitely blind on this one, Rain Man. So you own 33 and 34, which are very big fields. So 34 is 28 acres and 15 acres. So 39 and 37, or 37, 38. Obviously, are just grass fields over the other side of the map, but again, not bad in the slightest. Well, there might be a track actually to get to them over here and down there to there. That'd be pretty good. That's pretty good. So, right, crop calendar wise, it did say it has got a UK growth calendar, and I would agree. You can do spring wheat, barley, and oats. You can put canola in, in the spring as well, and you can put your wheat and barley and oat all the way up into November. So, that's about correct. Then you've got uh, a few things have been removed, well, have been disabled. The sugarcane and the cotton. You've still got grapes on the uh, calendar, though. But there is no other custom crops uh, on the map. Prices-wise are very healthy. In two or three places at least, mainly. Everything does sell, which is really good. The uh, map maker does seem to have taken into consideration people wanting to then take their goods and move them on to different productions. So that's really nice. Animals wise, we've got chicken coop, cow barn, pig pasture, chicken coop, and pig pasture. So let's find those quickly. I think they're all going to be here. Pig pasture, that's the first one. 70 head, yeah, sounds good. Oh, saving content. Chicken coop, 250, so not bad at all. Another pig pasture here. This is probably going to be again a 70 head, yeah, so not too big, not too small. Then we've got the cow barn. Which is this one, 200 head, very nice. Now there's a the main trigger to get to everything, that's all good. And finally we've got another chicken coop as well. So again that is a 550 head, so a little bit bigger. So again we've got a drop point there, we've got a fill point here. So yeah, not bad at all, you've got a silo system there for the actual, uh, for the grain. So very nice indeed, and uh, we're going to keep you busy on the farm. Contracts wise, there is obviously 82 fields, so obviously there's some big contracts with looks of it. Fertilizing contract for 28,000, that'll get you started pretty nicely. 
you got baling contracts there as well because there's a little bit of uh, grassland work by the looks of it you don't start with any production chains in a new farmer mode but obviously these places to put them down so that is a very good indeed so pda wise let's zoom all the way out again so people can actually see and enjoy this pda so very nicely well merged into a looks like a either a gis or a google um, satellite background image of the real area and as you can see the map has done a really good of merging that in looks really good and looks like it's like a main single road that runs through the center with lots of other tracks off the map but i don't think that's a bad thing that is how a lot of uk or british farming is up in north yorkshire and up in sheffield and that um, area of the country definitely single roads with other tracks off where farmers have put tracks between to get to their fields as you can see there is no uniformity in the field sizes or shapes or layout at all which is how it should be big bank of trees also in the forestry in the middle by the looks of it and around the outsides can't fault that at all lots of different field sizes i must admit some smaller fields over to the right hand side of the map and also down the bottom bigger fields at the top um, right and top left and as you come down to the top and um, bottom left as well so absolutely fantastic layout in my opinion for a map so yeah really really impressed with this map so far so uh, as i can have a quick look at our productions and selling stations on the map so ridgeway goods and then we have gear lane bales very nice uh moss valley livestock mv sawmill robin's dairy products good old robin you can go say hello to robin that's everything on our farm so more bits and bobs there mainly debris crusher uh, moss valley grain merchant biogas 99 kilowatts not a big one it's a good size one moss valley bakery vehicle shop vehicle workshop nice to have a custom uh, hood icon there the garden center and the garden center so yeah very nice having a quick look at the garden center pretty basic garden center but not bad at all right so that's really nicely done oh what's at the top have we done this one at the top oh no carter hall grail grain elevator so yeah need to put your uh, teeth back in there grain man i think to be able to do that so very nice indeed mm, you know what we're going to take new holland for a spin do you like a new holland i think they're a cracking tractor so let's see if we can get out of here bit tight for bigger tractors but you know what the small farm is what it's all about so let's put our winky pots on and where are we going now well actually this is into the farm is this into the farm more there is a road through here on the pda so yeah okay there is indeed crikey okay a bit tight a bit windy but um yeah not bad um the map is definitely definitely not flat got lots and lots of undulations and contouring and lots of rolling hills and valleys and dips etc which give the map massive amounts of just, just a massive amount of appeal as well lots of places to uh put down some nicer fields as well you could take up some of the grassland areas if you wanted to and actually make them into more agricultural land but as you can see good size fields quite nice in a way that the hedges don't have collisions on not realistic as well but obviously the bales won't roll through so that's good on a map with lots of hills but to be honest with you really quite a narrow little road though so something you'd have to be careful of that's for sure um, when you are taking your combine down here um, you probably struggle with a bigger combine than you start with but uh, yeah not bad nice little forest area here some nice trees and a nice pond oh dear watch out of the way go out carry if i can yep nice bit of water there most of the fields seem to be gated so that's good hopefully so a quick look how far do they go back though for getting a swing of angle that's what i'm thinking oh not bad not bad pretty good them actually yep you get a good angle of a trailer enter there no problems at all oh very nice bit of a picnic spot here as well yeah onto this area of a uh, river or a bit of a lake there just going uphill now but i must admit really really pretty map i mean very 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 well done this map is uh, another farm there by the looks of it a bit smaller though right so let's find out where we actually are on the pda 
uh, we're here. Okay, so if we carried on there, okay, we actually probably play what. Let's reverse back. Let's go this way, past this little farm here, which is quite a nice little farm. We've got, yeah, got farm buildings that are just down the road. Very nicely done stone buildings. You would see quite a lot of those. Bees are up there. Again, more gated fields. And also, one thing I have noticed, quite a lot of the fields have got a really good sized um, set aside at the side of the field. So headland um, at the side and also at the bottom and top. So it looks like the modder has actually looked around a lot of the fields in the area. And seeing that farmers have to do that now by law to leave a, a massive margin. I think it's anywhere up to about five meters. So pretty well been pretty well done in this map actually. Very impressed that the uh, modder has done that. So a bit of a shame that you've got cotton there on the right hand side. So potentially might need a bit of a script editing on the map so those don't actually uh, end up growing or being put in by the game engine. But still, I mean. I am actually loving this little map, I must admit. Looks like a whole construction area there with some fencing, a bit of extra features, tree, ouch, help bale cell I think, or animal dealer. Got the sawmill at the top here. I think I'll pull over in a minute because I need to actually uh, get on to the field prices. So what we'll do, let's pull over in this sawmill here. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, let's get ourselves back to the PDA. So, field prices. I'm going to say, right, let's go for the biggest first, shall we? 55, 381,000, not bad. 54, 319, up here, 254, 282, 306, 152. Wow, okay. Not too bad, actually, for some of the big fields. Let's go for some of the grass fields over here. 40, 18,000, 38,000. 32,000 near our farm again 31 74,000 up here 152 71 so to be honest with you some of the field prices are not bad for the size of field and for the way it's laid out on the map but I must admit absolutely bowled over by this map I think it's absolutely fantastic really really lovely well done British map based in Sheffield so top marks to the map maker for that Hopefully you've enjoyed this map tour. If you have, give it a like, subscribe to the Greyman channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Many thanks for watching.